Hey guys, so it's actually Wednesday and it's kind of late. It's nine o'clock and I was just sitting here and watching Audrey's little video again. She did such a great job and I am so, I just think she's the cutest thing ever, but I, of course I'm her mom, so. Um, Adriana's working on an animation. If you've been watching her channel at all, you'll see that she's been working on animating her little gotcha life videos, which I have to admit, I don't know too much about gotcha life, but she enjoys it and that's all that matters to me, as long as she's doing something that she likes. And at first she thought she was gonna enjoy making gaming videos, but she's discovered that in fact, gotcha life is the way that she wants to take her channel in, the, in that direction. And so, uh, if that's what she wants, then that's what she should do. Because this whole endeavor was just something for her to do that she enjoyed and that kind of dives more into technology and editing. And they did it in her uh, GT program uh, at her STEM school. And so, that's where this all came from. And she really enjoys it, so I'm just letting her take her time and learn how to use the animation uh, programs that we bought her. And so she is working on that. It's a little bit slow of a process. It takes a lot of time to animate. And so we'll see how, uh, you know, how her videos progress over time, honestly. And then, of course, Audrey has... I guess seen her sister record and has seen me record and so she has started picking up her tablet and recording herself and some of the things throughout her day. Believe it or not that video that I pieced together of all of her uh, shots were over days of time. It wasn't just one day and so it was really cute to see how she had introduced the video when she started it up and ended each video. It was really cute. Uh, since I posted on Sunday, I let you guys know, of course that was Mother's Day, I let you guys know that our garden was done and all set up. And then Monday I went outside and the dogs had gotten into my garden and actually dug it up. And so I was not very thrilled about that. I was actually very frustrated. And so I was walking back into the house when I ran across a snake. And uh, I'll put a picture up so you can see. It's not anything major. So the snake is, I think, an earth snake. I'm not sure. I hate snakes. Snakes give me panic attacks. It's the, uh, I have an illogical fear of snakes. I've just, I grew up in the country and we had snakes all the time, but I'm still deathly terrified of them. And so that was not my favorite moment of the day. But I stalked that thing. It was 3.30 in the afternoon by the time I, I had gone outside and come back in or was coming back in when I ran across the snake. And I knew that Jason would be home shortly. So <laughs> I thought that I would just stalk the snake until he got home. It took this fool over an hour to get home. I stood outside watching that damn snake to make sure it didn't go anywhere so that Jason could get it whenever he finally got home. So this fool walks through the door and I have the window blinds open so you can see straight from the front door into the backyard, our entire back of the house or windows. And he just sees me standing outside and he kind of just like raises his eyebrow like, what are you doing outside? And I'm like waving to get him to come outside. I had to send Adriana in to get him because he still didn't come. And so, he finally comes outside or she yells at him mom's there's a snake outside never mind that I had texted this fool and sent him a picture of the snake he finally checks his phone and then walks out there and takes care of the snake for me I just uh, an hour or an hour and a half I'm not even sure it was the craziest thing uh, Monday we also <laughs> had to take Adriana to the dermatologist 
And with everything going on, I honestly would have just skipped it if it would have been any other normal appointment. But it was her dermatologist and, you know, Adriana, she's so fair-skinned. And I've already had issues with um, some skin cancer issues. And so I just, if, if I'm going to go, I might as well have her go. She started going for the uh, subaortic dermatitis that she has. But, um, so now we just go for a yearly kind of mole check. And there were a couple that I wanted the doctor to look at. And sure enough, there was one that she took, uh, I think it's called Dermaplane. It's a super adhesive strip. And they uh, do four of them over the questionable mole. And so she had one that, the, that Dr. Marshan wanted to look at. And so uh, they did the four strips, the four sticky strips. And so we'll find out if it's anything that we need to be concerned about or if she needs to have it removed or if it's fine. And so uh, overall, it was a good experience. Both the girls did a great job wearing their mask. Can I just say my four-year-old wore that mask like a champ. I was so proud of her. Even the doctor and the doctor's assistant thought that it was fantastic how well-behaved the girls were and how well they did wearing their mask the entire time because anybody who goes to a dermatologist knows that's not a short appointment. And so we were there for quite some time and they wore their mask, they didn't touch their face, they kept their hands to themselves, they sanit they did their uh, hand sanitizer and they they are, but I have, um, y'all, I'm lucky because my kids are really great kids. Like, I, I, cannot brag on my children enough. They are well-behaved kids. I could not be a luckier mom. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'll post a picture of the girls in their mask. And uh, it's kind of crazy, guys. Over the past, I don't know, just in a year, how much Adriana has changed from like a kid to, I mean, she she's only, she's only gonna be 10 in July, but my gosh. She looks like a teenager. Like it, It's just so crazy how fast kids grow up. I know people tell you that all the time, that kids grow up so fast. It's crazy. when you, Once you have your own kids, it, it's so true. It, it's the most rewarding thing ever, but it's kind of sad because I, look, I saw, I watched a video of Adriana the other day and I started crying. Because I can't even remember her being a baby like that. It's been so long. And so, I just, ugh. She's grown up so much. It's, it's amazing. And uh, this year for her birthday, we're gonna, since, since we can't have a birthday party like normal and have all of our friends and family over to do the water slides and water balloons and all of that, we're gonna, we're gonna take her on a little trip. And, uh... Yeah, we'll do a birthday cake, but it'll just be the four of us, and um, she's she's okay with it. Like I said, she's a trooper. She she knows what's going on. She's such an old soul. She she gets it. She gets it better than probably most kids her age. She she's just she's fine with it, and uh, you know I'm lucky. I'm a really lucky mom. All right, guys. So enjoy the pictures, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Not too much else really going on. Just doing the school and uh, Jason's going to work and we're, Audrey's working on learning to write her name, not trace it, like actually write her name and uh, all of her letters and numbers. And so it, it's going really well and I couldn't be happier. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Even in my little scrub below. some reason chugging water actually worked. I don't know why it just did, but then downside I had to pee <laughs> a lot. So I had to go before um, I had to, after dad tucked me in, I had to get out of bed and go to the bathroom instead of just laying there comfortable. Sorry. Like almost 
every night. Air getting in my eye. I can't see. There is nothing like feeling young